I want to make a keyboard for one of my close friends, and he wants Kurumi from Dead Alive as his keyboard team. I don't get why he likes Kurumi the best out of all the other characters, and what blows my mind is that just my friend. It seems that most of you rank Kurumi really high on the waifu tier list. She's so popular that she got her own spin-off adaptation. I mean, come on guys, she's a goddamn psychopath. Are you all some weird masochist that wants to be teased by a crazy girl carrying a gun? And this is coming from a true masochist. I don't mind getting teased, but I would prefer getting teased by a cute girl, not a crazy girl that sounds like an old lady. Oh no, oh no. I mean, look at this roster. Wait, hold on. Much better. Look at this roster. I'd say there's a lot of better girl than Kurumi. Here's everyone's favorite tier list maker for all Dead Alive female character. Now let's go through them one by one. Toka. In the beginning, she was portrayed as a cool main heroine. But after kissing Shido, she became a dumb attention whore character that just wants Shido's attention 24-7. She's more like a dog that follows you around but will never become the main heroine. D tier. Yoshino. Yoshino is a cute lolly character that carries around a bunny puppet on her hand as her friend. She's a quiet girl who doesn't want to hurt anyone even when she was being attacked. She could have been a top tier if the other gave her more backstory and screen time, but mostly I forgot that she was even there. B tier. Kurumi. I think I explained my thought on this character enough. Oh no, oh no. B tier. Otori. Ah yes, the Emoto character. She has twin tail, she has double personality, she can be cheeky or she can be a teaser. She's a commander of a secret organization which means that she's probably more successful than you. You know the best part? She's not related by blood. Oh yeah! S tier. Did I forget someone? No? Okay, moving on. Kaguya and Yuzuru or Yuzuru and Kaguya. Kaguya is a Junubio character that is voiced by Uchida Maya, the same voice actor that voiced Ranko from Cinderella Girls. If you're into Shunibyo character, you're probably into her as well. And Yuzuru is Tsukomi character that talk using emote, which I find quite charming. The problem is they care for each other more than they care about Shido, but that makes them a good Shimado material. Unfortunately, Kaguya is kinda annoying, so A tier for Yuzuru and B tier for Kaguya. Iku. And we're calling all Idol Wataku. This girl is apparently a singer that is voiced by Chihayom Nori. What other character that is she voiced again? Oh yeah, Nagato. Quiet, unnecessary character in Haruhi. I think she's a boring character comparing to Haruhi or Mikuru, so... Yeah, she's shit. Haruhi the best girl, thank you. Also, yeah, she likes girl. Any complaint? No? Alright, moving on. So, Natsumi. She got everything. You want big boobs? She got it. You want flat chest? She got it. Want to be pampered by Onesan? She can do it. You want a cute cheeky girl by your side? She can do it. Absolutely S tier character. And that's it. And the rest of the character, I don't really know about them, so I'm not gonna talk about them. What is this video about? Oh yeah, the keyboard. So he wanted the Kurumi team keyboard. So easy, right? Red plus black equal to Kurumi. And here's the part that you guys don't care. <laughs> but that's it for the video. Goodbye. Psych, you thought I'm just gonna end the video there? Well, think again! Now that all the people who are not interested in the actual custom keyboard are gone, let me introduce you to all the parts. So here I got a red aluminum low profile case from Keep Defense. This is light, and because of Kurumil color team, I just red for the case as she is primarily red, and I'll put the black keycap on top of it. I also get the red aluminum plate from Keep Defense to match the keyboard team, so everything will be red from top to bottom. And for stabilizer, I got GMK stabilizer which will be clip, loop, and use bandit mob to reduce the rattles. For this build, I'm using a hot swappable PCP which will help him to change the switches if he wants to in the future. And this is great for a beginner who just got into the custom keyboard community. When I ask him what type of switch he want, he reply with... Yes, the abomination of a switch. Perfectly crafted to annoy your co-worker. God fucking damn it. Why is it clicky? This shader is rel so much that it might as well just be a baby toy. 
But yeah, for the switches, I'll be using Oetemu Blue that I desoldered from my clicky keyboard, which I don't use anymore, to cut some costs, which will not be looped because, you know, clicky. I will also be modding the keyboard that I desoldered to use as my working keyboard. Maybe that will be another video. Alright, let's desolder this board. First of all, of course you want to remove all the keycaps. When that is done, all you gotta do is unscrew all the screw and refill the PCB. For this keyboard, there's 12 screws on it, but for your keyboard, it might be different. There might be screws on the bottom instead of on top, so make sure to identify all the screw on it. Once you get the PCB, you will see all the solder contact on all the switches, and you just need to heat it up and suck it with a desoldering tool. And now, here's the fun part. So this process is too satisfying to leave out, so I left it in the video. Is anyone taking pleasure on seeing this? Or maybe it's just me? Okay, maybe just me. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. But yeah, this is a tool where there's a heating nozzle on it, and once it heat up all the solder, it can suck it up because there's a vacuum on it. So it's a really nice tool to have if you're planning to desolder a lot of boards. Process takes a long time, though it's not as long as lubing all the switches. I didn't have a key switch puller at the time, so I have to power it up using my nail, and it broke my nail badly. Fortunately, my nail was long enough that it was not an issue. And yeah, here you go. This is the final look of the board with all the switches desoldered and pop. And now we can use all this switch on my friend's keyboard. This looked pretty messy. Let me clean up all the clutter first. And for the keycaps, as usual, I bought it from Mess Keyboard. I custom all the keycaps print and they print it for me and it looks amazing. But I got all the tools that I need to die to make custom keycaps. So I'll be making a video of me trying that out as well. Without further ado, let's do the sound test. But yeah, other than the clicky switches, I don't like the gap between the plate and the case. It looks weird. There's a gap all around the plate. I wish they can fill them up to make it gapless. Alright, that's enough for the video. Make sure to smash that dislike button so I know how many brain dead masochists of you that actually like Kurumi or even Clicky Gang. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.